Hey guys, I need to practice my English, so this video will be in that language. Um, as Don Ramon says, echando a perder se aprende. Well, let's go uh, first. Remember, uh, this is a pure version. You will not see uh, engines like chronograph or darkroom. No, this is a pure version. So, a more appropriate name for this deck um, is spell counter deck. Let's start. First, you need three copies of Endymion, the Mighty Master of Magic. This is my favorite card and the boss monster of the deck. Also, it's your board breaker. This is one of many reasons uh, because I don't play other engines. Dargum, Chronograph, Spellbook um, don't work for generate spell counters. You need generate spell counters. A lot of spell counters. I've seen many versions of Endymion deck. In all those versions, um, the player always go first. You don't know if you go first or you go second. That is the problem. So when you go second, uh, you need broke the opponent's board. How to make this? How? Well, uh, the answer is Endymion. Its scale F is the key for broke the board. And cards like um, Chronograph, Darwin, uh, Epitufo don't work for this. No, don't work. Whatever. Endymion uh, is also your spell trap negator. This is good. This is very good. Especially if you remember the uh, Baroness uh, Boresavash are banned. Sorry, guys. That's the reality. Anyway, I continue. I just play one copy of Reflection of Endymion because uh, it's a good card, but not so good. It's a compulsory, but going first um, is useless. For this reason, I prefer just play one copy. Next, I play two copies of Magister. Uh, this is basically because I need high scales. Previously, I play uh, three copies, but the change. I will explain why later. The main function of Magister is to recycle the baby jackal. Remember it. Then I play three copies of Servant of Endymion. This is the main searcher of this deck. I don't need to say anymore. It's your plus one for excellence. For this reason, you always play three copies of Servant. Then I play two copies of Master Cerberus uh, because three copies, maybe cold turn in a brick, and uh, you don't want this. Cerberus is the most weak part of this deck, highly vulnerable to Ash. 